ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to channel 48 and thank you for tuning in again on this beautiful day. Well, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the upgrade to Lineage OS 19 on my Samsung Galaxy S10. But this video will only be for those that followed my Android 12 projects and that have Android 12 running on their Samsung Galaxy S10. Okay, this project is only for you because the upgrade procedure will be very, very simple as you're going to find out. And how do I know that we can do it this way? Well, when I installed the GSI on my uh, Redmi 7A, um, I could see that it was a port from the Pixel 3, meaning that these ROMs of these GSIs are family from each other, so an upgrade should be no problem. And let's see if I was right. Welcome again, and let me put you on the tripod. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm now here with my Samsung Galaxy S10, and I just went into a recovery mode, mount, enable. Yes, come here, baby. And let me see what we have here. Okay, so I have Pixel 5 uh, installed on here. So what I think that you S10 users must do if you as well followed my projects where I showed how to install. Hey, where's my lineage OS? Date modified. Uh, it's on D. Here it is. If you as well followed my videos, how to install Pixel 5, uh, Candidate Beta 5 to the S10. If you followed that video and you as well have Pixel 5 Candidate Beta 5 installed on your phone, then with this Lineage OS, you can do a dirty install. Maybe it will fail, maybe not. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. So I don't lose any file that I had since I'm on Android 12 Beta 5. You understand? Okay, so the file is over and we're gonna go ahead and Oops, we only have 10% battery. All these phones were empty, man. I grabbed them out of the closet and started charging them a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do an upgrade, as I said, Lineage OS 18. Hey, wait a minute, what is this? Not Lineage OS 18, 19. What are you doing? Oh yeah, it's an image, of course, you're stupid. Uh, Lineage OS 19 system image and we're just gonna flash it on top of the beta 5 that we already had and in this case i think i don't even have to flash a kernel it will just if my study is right okay if my study is right if i understand this what i'm doing then i think it should boot One, two, three, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Exactly how I said it would go. Oi, two, three, oh, yes, we, oh, thank God we arrived. There's a problem, I know, but as you can see, I, just, I did the upgrade and I still have google google play service is stopping no problem with that i will disable it because i'm not using it i'm uh i was testing uh some <laughs> some ios launch <laughs> uh, that was kind of stupid so um yeah uh this is not how it's gonna look for you i just did an upgrade okay i just did the upgrade and uh 
I think it all went fine. It's still saying Pixel 5, Android 12. Boom. There you go. So the install on the S10 is just an upgrade for those that already had, uh, had it installed. But those that did not have it installed yet, uh, it's, it's different. Oh, the power, <laughs> the power button is not working, but somebody said here in the menu, you should be able to device controls. What does cat control? Oh no. He said somewhere in notifications, auto rotate, you should be able to turn it off. I don't know. What I did is um, we still have internet, so I can show it immediately to you. Where is my Aurora store? Let me see. What? I don't even have Aurora store installed. Yes, it's installed. So what we need from the Aurora store, if you as well use Aurora store, uh, I don't install gaps, you know. I just stay independent. This is independent project. Google Play service keeps stopping. I'm gonna disable it soon. Um, so what you need is a reboot button. You see that? This one here. And then you're gonna see a red icon. You see this here? This red one. No, no root. That is what you need. Install, install, successfully installed, open. You must give permission here, so it's allowed to reboot. And now you have a, now you have a reboot button. So you all there's me to do now, peeps, because uh, you could see that the upgrade went fine, is to kind of uh, make a custom ROM from Lineage OS and uh, just go into the applications and then turn off uh, Google services that keeps crashing and and all the other things that have nothing to do with Linux OS. Uh, I'm just going to disable them so it becomes quiet in the system and then we have a Linux OS. I'm not sure if you can flash bit gaps on top of it. I think it's going to, you know, and I don't advise you. To, to go and wipe first and then do a clean install of Linux OS because then you're going to break things and then the only fix will be to restore your phone completely back uh, to official and then install Twerp again, go through the complete hassle again, you know, to have your firm, your your uh, your um, your fender right, okay? So the fender, you know, is... Because is, is if you're going to wipe the Pixel 5, and then install in it. You can try it, but you're gonna cry because you will have to do the complete thing again. I think. Okay, but I'm not I'm not sure. So <laughs> try it out yourself. But I would not take the risk. If you were on, on, on any of these beta versions that I showed you for the S10, just do the upgrade as I showed. Turn off Google services if you don't need them. But if you depend on that and you're like, no, I'm going to do a clean install because then all the risk is for you. Okay, then <laughs> you must not come and cry for me. All right, because then probably I think that the fender will get messed up. You understand, Capis? So um, I wish you good luck. I'm going to play with my Samsung Galaxy S10 on Android 12. Last build. Mm, 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 October patches. So I hope that you are the one of the lucky ones as well. And that you can as well enjoy this weekend with your yeah, Android 12, S9, and S10. And maybe even Redmi 7 or the Mido. I'm not sure what phones I have more that can, you know, do these treble things. Because... I must look through my collection. S6, nothing. Uh, S7, nothing. S8, forget about it. Um, yeah.
S5, don't even ask, okay? <laughs> these, these, uh, these phones will all get ported ROMs. These guys will create ROMs, you know. These, these are smart developers. They will find a way. Even the, probably the Samsung Galaxy S2 will get Android 12. If it's up to Renando, it will happen. Trust me. Not that you want to be all the time on that Android 12, but if, if Renando wants it to happen, it's going to happen. So you're going to see port uh, uh, Android 12 uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. Well, S3, that might take a while. S4 could, because we have the JDC team, and JDC is very creative. And these guys, they are from Linux OS, so yeah, they, they have spare time sometimes, and anything can happen. So uh, good luck to all the developers out there developing Android 12 uh, ports, uh, GSIs, uh, whatever you're doing out there, wallpapers and things like that. Big up to you. Good luck. And to the users, I say, hey, always support the developers. Eh? If you see some PayPal and you have a credit card, you know, push it push it 10, uh, 10 bucks their side, you know, or one buck or whatever you can miss, you know, 100. <laughs> and you're going to see what will happen. We will get even more magic because of the inspiration that we bring to them. Okay, my friends, stay well, good weekend, and maybe later another video, but I don't think so.